Hey you guys, this is Taylorverse108. Um, uh, this, uh, is gonna be a tutorial on how to, um, make a banner for, uh, a, a, uh, like a YouTube channel or something by using Adobe Photoshop CS2, not CS3 or CS2 9.01 update. Just the, enor the, just the normal version of Adobe Photoshop. You can get this by uh, uh, going to YouTube and typing Adobe Photoshop CS2. Go to the uh, the second one, and a tryout version should uh, pop up. You just enter your information and downloads the tryout version. Okay, today I'm not going to be showing you animation. Uh, I'll show you that in another video. This is just my trial, so don't, uh, I'm not using the actual version. Let's exit this a application out. Okay, forget it. Let's, uh, keep that down there. First, you're going to want to make your foreground, uh, black. Um, open up a new file. Uh, leave the name as it is, or you want, it, or if you want it to change something, you can save it when you're done. Uh, first thing you're, you're going to want to do is 883 width in pixels, not inches, pixels. Height in 90 in, in 90 pixels, not inches. Resolution is 72 in pixels dash in, inches. Uh, your color mode is RGB, red, green, blue, color, and 8-bit. Don't change anything else. A screen like this should pop up. Make it a little bigger so you can see the entire thing. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is, for your banner, uh, make a new layer with this button right here. Now what I meant by uh, change your foreground to black is that you're going to make black lines. Just random black lines. Try not to overdo it, or when you invert it, when you add more lines, when we're done doing the hue and saturation setting, uh, it will turn, your lines will turn white, and you'll have to do the thing all over again. So just try not to overdo it. Okay, once you're done making your random lines, go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, Amount, 100, Blur method, zoom, quality, best. Click OK. Should zoom in like this. Uh, then after that, you're going to go to filter, stylize, find edges, then do the blur thing, uh, radial blur. Just click OK since they're already set. And then you go to filter again. We're just going to do this one more time. Stylize, find edges, filter, blur, radial blur. Okay. Now once you're done with that, it looks like you're zooming in through a tunnel or a speed of light, something like that. Now if you want to add more lines to spaces that are like too white for you, you want to add more lines. What you're going to do is go to image adjustments and click invert right here as it as you can see it decreases some of the grayness or whiteness of the lines so you can just do it over again I usually like making them in the middle because it looks like you're headed into a tunnel of light S later on in the video I'm going to show you how to change the color of this and put text in the banner so now let's just do the filter Blur, radial blur, okay. Filter, stylize, find edges, filter, blur, radial blur. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is to change the color, is to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. Now there are two boxes on the bottom right corner. Preview is already selected. 
now I'll click colorize. When I click that, it turned to purple because that's the last color I made my banner for. Uh, if you can see in this hypercam video, uh, there are different colors that I'm changing it to. I'm going to change it to a nice blue. Saturation is going to be high so you can see it better. And that looks pretty. Uh, if you want to change the light, you can bring it up a notch. Or This looks horrible when you're at 100% lighting. Dark doesn't look too cool. I like to bring it up to there. And when you're done with that, just click OK. OK, there's your banner background. Now what you're going to want to do to add text is go over to your text button. Click your foreground color. I like making it a lighter blue than it was. And then it is. Then just type what you want, like, uh, let's say, uh, What should I type? Um, bald eagles. Are protected. Uh, then you just click that. And once you're done with that, you can move it around where you think it's the center. Uh, and there you go. And at the very end of this, once you've gotten everything done, you're going to see this little thing. Make sure that you don't minimize this or whatever. If you have it minimized, bring it back up. Uh, layer 2 should be selected. Uh, then you're going to hold Shift and then click background right click where there are no words then at the very bottom of this list you're going to see merge layers that's where it becomes one layer um, it's named background and it's locked so you can't change anything of that there you go and you want to when you're done when you're safe when you're done with this you want to go to file save as uh, I made a uh, Photoshop slide folder on my desktop, so I'm just going to save this in here. Um, be sure you save the format as a GIF file, so it will open it up with Internet Explorer, and it's compatible with anything on Internet Explorer. And I'm just going to name this Bald Eagle Slide. Click OK, OK, and there you go. Now, when you uh, click Exit or Minimize or whatever, there it is, your bald eagle slide. It opens it up with Internet Explorer, and there it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on anything that I need. I'll be making future tutorials, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.